Well, hi guys. Um, this is my new allotment. Um, I've applied for one uh, now I've moved house and uh, I've got one near where I now live. Uh, I'm just going to it's a, take you on a bit of a tour and, and show what's around. Obviously, as you can no doubt tell, it's full of weeds, so it's going to take a lot of strimming and what have you. Um, um, but on, unlike the one I had in Brighton, which I've still got at the moment, I'm just slowly going to uh, start taking stuff out of there. Um, you're all going to see this from start to beginning. So, I thought this would be good. So, let's just have a wander around and see what's here already. Now, most of this stuff here looks pretty uh, useless. So, it's all going to need streaming and then uh, just... Uh, Composting and probably rotating the soil. And now that's either it could be raspberries or it could be blackberries. I'm thinking blackberries. Because I don't know if you can see those. Those are definitely raspberries, just a few of those growing there. Actually, there's quite a few more down the back. Some fruits on them. Globe artichoke. Obviously growing quite nicely there. A few more raspberries. Uh, these ones to the back, because they're fruiting already, I'm going to guess they're summer ones. Um, they've made a bit of a hedge along the back. That'll do. They may be yellow or orange ones. Nah, I think they're red. We'll see. We'll keep them growing. Uh, more just raspberries and nothing really there. What's that over there? Bit of this. Bit of wood. I don't know where that's from. And, right, it looks like just down here some gooseberries that have quite a bit of fruit on them as well. There's probably one or two plants. Hard to tell at the moment. But I'll be picking some of those and take those home with me today. Um, by the way, today's day is the 4th of July, so it's quite a hot day. It's a Saturday. I picked the keys up for this the other day. I popped down here to have a look and... Uh, I could tell straight away the first job I had to do was stripping. Uh, get all these weeds and grass down. Which is what I'm here doing today while I've got a few spare minutes. So, once I've done strimming, uh, I'll show you what happens next. Well, I've been at this for two hours now. And as you can see, it's uh, strimmed down quite a bit. Now, a few things I've left. That, I um, think it's comfrey. Could be wrong, but it looks to be a bit like comfrey. And I think there's another one just over there. And I've left a few little poppies. Let's push it over there, just to add a bit of colour. Um, I think I'm going to have to bring the lawnmower down and just run over with the lawnmower, pick everything up. And. Um, bring the rotorator down and rotorate everything. I picked a few of the raspberries now, they're really tasty. There's quite a few of them. Some are the orange ones, which I'm quite happy about. So with that, we'll crack on with the next stop. Okay, well I'm here again. It's the 27th of uh, June, or July even. Um, this is the new allotment. I'm just going to have a quick run through and show you what I've done. Uh, the website I'm still trying to get back up and working so I can do podcasts, but you can still visit it. That's the vegroundpodcast.co.uk. Now, last time I was, you was here, you saw me strimming it all down. Well, I strimmed it all down and had a walk around. As you can see, I've cleared a bit of land um, and just trying to trying to keep it hoed now uh, while I uh, make plans of what to do. I've put a couple of tomato plants in here, nothing major. 
and they were just cheap ones and I've been harvesting raspberries from the raspberry bushes now the last few days it's been a lot of rain which has really softened the soil up so as you can see my uh, hand powered plough is just going through it really really easily I was hoping to have a rotavator working I thought I had it working last week but it's decided to not play ball again um, I've got to look into this further um, last week I just quickly ran the lawnmower around here just to keep it low and looking like something has been done and I also quickly made this compost bin which is made out of just three pallets to screw together and fall up that came from my uh, allotment over Brighton Way um, but it got blown over in the wind so uh, it's probably going to end up filling that compost bin up and uh, starting again but we'll come to that as and when I've been drawing up plans on a garden planner pro uh, of what what I uh, want to do with this place now I've got to be here three months before I, I know I've definitely can keep it so I can't start spending too much money on things and getting carried away with stuff that might not happen and my plan is We've got a glider to check there. I'm going to have another one next to it, just sort of in front of the neighbour's sunflowers. Then I'm going to have about three rhubarbs, crowns, just sort of there, and followed by a bed of asparagus with my cider apple tree in the corner. Um, yeah, that, that's what I've planned so far. In the centre is going to be beds. Uh, somehow, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to make them out of scaffold boards or what, but I'll come to that. The first thing I want to do though is clear all this uh, grass into soil, so I'm going to crack on with ploughing. Oh here we go, I'm back again, so if it's a bit windy I do apologise. i um, been using the uh, plough for about 20 minutes, half hour. It's hard work I have to say, manpower, that's why the motivator is a lot better. Uh, but. I think I've cleared quite a bit of it actually, I'm quite, quite pleased with how much I've done. Uh, yeah, I think I'm packing up for the day, so I've run over that with the plough. I'll let that uh, just sort of rot down a bit. I'll probably come back tomorrow, give it a rake over, uh, a bit of a hoe. And then I might start sowing some seeds that can go in just so um, it looks like something's been done um, and keep the uh, allotment people happy so yeah that's it it's uh yeah 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 it's not masses amount but it's a start and of course if you do too much in one go it's a lot of keeping up on top of it so um yeah i, I always say it's best to break it down into smaller areas and go from there so, yeah. Okay, so, uh, yeah. That'll be it. And, uh, yeah, this is the uh, plough I've been using. Uh, came off eBay a while back, I may have mentioned it before. Uh, it's, yeah, it's good. It's good. Okay guys, so um, it's a few days since my last uh, video, um, all in the same but a few days on. Um, now as you can see, uh, since ploughing everything, I've been down here since just for a, a, an hour and just raked a few things up and got things. Um, in this sort of area here, you see there's four white labels. I've just sown some uh, seed tapes. There's a row of spinach, a couple of rows of carrots, and a couple of rows of um, spring onions. That was just to use the seed tapes needed using up, so I've just used them up and uh, makes it look like something's happening on here when they grow through. So, um, yeah, I'm going to give those another good watering today and a bit of a hoe. Then over here where I had the tomatoes, I've just added a few. Uh, 
plants that I got from the uh, good garden centre. They were sold off cheap. So there's, uh, there's a few, um, there's about five pepper plants, um, a courgette plant and a butternut squash plant. So, yeah, just getting some production going now. So, I think I'm going to wrap up this uh, video today and uh, please visit my uh, website. That's the vegwrowpodcast.co.uk.